So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. You know, I have made thousands of hot rolls in my lifetime. Working in a school cafeteria, we used to make hot rolls twice a week. And we made big batches. And I've made tons of hot rolls for the family. And this is one of the recipes that I go to sometimes. This is a recipe that um, I think if you're, if you're just stressed for time and you want to make it just a little bit easier on yourself, but you want to make some homemade yeast rolls, these spoon rolls are some of the very best in my opinion. And um, there is yeast in them and I do use self-rising flour. And you don't have to use self-rising flour, but I do because it just seems to put out a better product. So I'm sure that you probably have everything you need for these rolls. And um, they're going to sit in the refrigerator overnight. You can make them ahead of time as far as probably three days ahead of your Thanksgiving dinner. You can make this, uh, this dough up and uh, this... Uh, hot roll dough up and put it in your refrigerator and let it cover it up and uh, you need to let it sit at least overnight and um, if not two or three days before so you got it all whipped up and you got it ready all you got to do the next day or next couple of days when Thanksgiving gets here or Christmas or whatever you've already got it done you take it out of the refrigerator put these lovely hot rolls in your muffin pans and uh, they cook up really good. So let's get started on our easy spoon yeast hot rolls. Y'all really gonna love this recipe and you're gonna absolutely love the rolls. Okay, let's talk about our ingredients. We got a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a cup of sugar, got uh, six tablespoons of melted butter, one and a half teaspoons of active yeast, one egg, and four cups of self-rising flour. And that's all it's going to take to make these delicious hot rolls. Okay, we're going to start out by mixing our dry ingredients together. I like using self-rising flour for these rolls. I think it just gives them a really good texture. We got a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to put a fourth a cup of sugar in here. Now, a fourth a cup of sugar is not going to make these rolls sweet at all. So don't think that this is going to be a really sweet roll because it just doesn't give it a really big sweetness to it. So now we're going to do our two cups of warm water and our yeast. And I'm just going to sprinkle probably a half a teaspoon of sugar over that yeast. And what that does, it just feeds it and uh, just gets it activated a little bit faster. And this is active dry yeast. You can use uh, the instant uh, rapid rise if you want to, because either one's going to work. I'm going to let this sit about five minutes. Okay, we're going to take our, our yeast mis mixture, pour it into our dry. We're going to put our egg. 
And you'll be able to mix this by hand, but you can do it with a mixer if you want to. This dough is going to be pretty loose, so you could mix this actually with just a paddle on your mixer. But even with my 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 hands, my arthritic hands, I can mix this up pretty easy with my um, dough mixer here. Now I've got six tablespoons of melted butter and that does look and sound like a lot but it's it just what it helps besides the egg it just helps this uh, roll to be so rich but what I like to do is just pour a little bit in a time and just mix it up good and even if you don't get it all mixed in there it'll be okay because it's all going to come together anyways and the more butter that I mix in here you're going to notice that my dough is going to get looser and looser and you're not probably thinking that's way too loose miss lori but trust me with this this dough is going to go into a bowl and i'm going to cover it and i'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and probably most of the day tomorrow this can be kept in the refrigerator for as much as three or four days I'd give it three days myself. The next day, you're going to get your bow out, and you're going to lift that lid, and you're going to see that that dough, it did, it, it, it rose good, and it got thicker. It's not as loose as it was, but the dough is going to make a lot tender, um, fluffier row. If you were to make this up and your dough was real dense, real thick, you put it in the refrigerator, next day you get it out, and you try to put them in your muffin pans, and the dough was just really thick, you're going to have a heavy, dense roll. I've seen people do that with the same recipe. So trust me with this. You want it loose? just like this and we'll put it in another bowl and cover it up okay I'm just going to pour this into my my bowl that's going to have a lid if you don't have a bowl with a lid just uh, put plastic wrap over the top I'm going to get my spatula and I'm going to scrape out the rest of this dough out of my bowl but you can see how loose it is and that's the way you want it Okay, we got it all in there. I'm just going to put the lid on it. And you want a big enough bowl because it is going to proof. It is going to, your dough is going to rise. It's going to proof in there in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to put it in there overnight. And tomorrow when I come in from work, we'll make us some, some hot rolls. And I've got some different, different versions of rolls that I'm wanting to make. But... These are some of the best spoon rolls. Well, it's been 24 hours later, and we're going to take the lid off our bowl. You can see how it, it rose, the dough rose, and it's thickened up, just like I wanted it to. We got our muffin pan over here, and it's sprayed really good. I've got my oven preheating to 350. Now, you can use a big cookie scoop. Just scoop this out and put it in your muffin pan. I'm using, this is a muffin scoop. This is what you use to put batter in muffin pans when you're making muffins. I'm just going to use that and I sprayed it with my olive oil spray. You want to fill your muffin pans about three-fourths full. I got that one a little bit full, but we're going <laughs> we're gonna to try this again. Three-fourths full. It don't really matter. They're going to cook up the same, I guess. I'm going to try several different versions of these muffin, these spoon rolls, I mean, not muffins. Uh, I'm going to do a couple little twists to them and see which one I like the best. 
I absolutely love this recipe. This has been a go-to yeast roll recipe for me for so many years because I can come back to this recipe and it has helped me through so many potlucks, dinners for the family, you name it. It has really helped me out. Um, Cause you don't always have time for your homemade hot rolls. And I have made thousands of them, but I tell you, Sometimes a person just needs a little bit of help. And you can't go wrong with this recipe. And y'all seen why I made my dough so loose? Because I know it's going to thicken up. And now it's just the right consistent, consistency to make a really good, light, fluffy roll. And you can make these any size you want to. You can even make little mini uh, spoon rolls if you want to. So I'm going to get these in the oven here in a minute. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush some butter on half of these. I'm going to leave half plain. I'm going to brush the other half maybe with some butter and then sprinkle some everything bagel over the top. I think that'll be good. We'll try that. And I'll leave these other six plain. I'm just wanting to try just a few different ways of doing this. Everything bagel. Just take you a little bit and sprinkle however much you think you might want on top. I love this stuff. I use this sometimes. I put it on my homemade bread. I could eat this stuff on anything. So just sprinkle a little bit on there. Then we'll stick it in our oven. Now ovens do tend to cook different and uh, it's usually going to take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes for these rolls to cook. We'll see how long it takes in my oven. Okay, it took about 18 minutes. And these are done. The regular rolls aren't real, real uh, brown on top, but they are done. Uh, you just have to be careful because if you try to get them too brown on top, they're too brown, they're too dark on the bottom. So you just look around the edge and when you see that the edge of your spoon roll is starting to get golden brown and you can touch the top and it springs back, you know they're done. So we'll, we'll try them. They are done because it springs right back. I'll take a couple out and I'll show you what I mean by them being so brown on the bottom. See how brown they are? Golden brown. And I like them that way. They're good and it's a good crusty, you know, on the bottom and good texture. They're really good that way. So I'm going to just take them out of the pan. I'm going to let them cool off just a little bit before I put them on a, in a container or a bowl. These are really, really hot. Burning my fingers. And you see how, let's just, let's try one. I'm going to open it up. And you see how tender, you see the crumb in that hot roll. It's light. Really good, really good spoon roll recipe. 
one of the best. Good and done. And delicious. Can't go wrong with this recipe. So let's get the rest of our rolls in the oven. How many you get is going to depend on what size muffin pan you use. I'm going to say that this size you might get about 20 maybe. So you can double this recipe for sure because I have doubled it many and many times. I'm going to make me just a little bit. I've got about a fourth a cup of melted butter left in here. I'm going to put about a good tablespoon of honey in there and I'm going to mix that up. And right before I take my other rolls out, I'm just going to brush this on top. That'll give it just that little bit of sweetness on top and uh, make it just a little bit more golden brown too. So you can see how that um, finish eating my roll here. You can see how brushing that with that honey butter, it did brown it just a little bit on top, give it some color. See how pretty that is. So I've got three different ways here that I've done my spoon rolls. This is just a regular one. Then your honey topped and then your everything bagel. And they're all good. They all have their own taste, but they're all good. I think I really do like the ones that are brushed with just a little bit of honey butter on top. I think those are really good. But usually when I'd make them, I'd just leave them plain. And the kids and grandkids, they love these rolls. So you need to try this recipe. Make it easy on yourself, or if you've never made homemade yeast hot rolls. This is a, a, a good one to start with right here. You won't be disappointed at all. They make some pretty rolls too. So I hope y'all like this recipe and I hope y'all try them. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. You cannot go wrong with these rolls. <clears throat> You've seen how easy it was. <clears throat> You've seen how tender these rolls turn out. The crumb, you can see how beautiful the crumb is in there. This is the one that um, I put that honey butter on. It is so good. So if you want to make it easy on yourself or you've never made hot rolls before and you're really wanting to do it this year, make this recipe. You're going to love them. This is a recipe that a lot of times uh, when I would have all the kids over on a Sunday dinner, this was one of the recipes I'd go to because I could whip it up the night before and when we get in from church, I could throw them in the oven. They'd be ready in no time and you've got some good uh, yeast hot rolls. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Share the recipe with your friends. Make you some. Make it easy on yourself. Make it easy on yourself this year. And I've got some more recipes coming. Some some different recipes for the holiday table. We're going to be doing some uh, maybe a main dish or so. Maybe a couple more side dishes. Um, desserts. And maybe some appetizers. And even if we may just carry this on into the Christmas holidays and just keep it going with candy and everything else. So I hope you enjoyed this. Mr. Brown's not here to taste it, but I know when he gets in, he's going to uh, put a slab of butter on some of that and he's going to eat him a, a good old hot roll. So happy holidays, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of days with another recipe. We love y'all and God bless.